cornet solo, Buddy Baldwin's Blues, played by Colin Hancock, Semper Record. Okay, now that we've uh, wiped all the swarf off the cylinder uh, and let it cool off, now we're going to play it back. So here is Buddy Baldwin's Blues. Alright, well as you can see, the uh, recordings you can make on an Edison phonograph, acoustically, are outstanding. 
I, and they sound completely authentic. I mean, this one, I have literally been only doing this for about four and a half months. And already I'm making some, even if I do say so myself, first-rate recordings on the Edison phonograph. I mean, that sounded loud, it was crisp, the piano was actually clear, and it's not a difficult thing to do. It just takes a little bit of time and effort, and once you've got it down, you've got it down. I mean, these recordings, they just, they sound almost exactly like something you would have gone out and bought from the era. I mean, this cylinder was, it's been shaven down almost to the point where you can't hear anything on it. Luckily, I was able to make one more recording, and I'm going to keep this one. And there's, there were a few cracks in it. You could hear the little popping noises. And I literally, this whole process has taken me less than 10 minutes to do this. So it, it just goes to show it's really not a difficult thing to do. And it's also a great way of doing voice recording. You can do vocals. You can do music selections like this. You can do band recordings. And you can do all of that. And what I believe is the most authentic way of recording and reproducing sound. It is literally the most physical way of doing it. Those are the sound waves that I made on the cylinder right there. Those sound waves came directly from the bell of my cornet, down the horn, onto the needle, and etched into the cylinder. So, I just uh, want to leave y'all with that. And uh, again, if there's any questions, or uh, if you want to, for instance, uh, get me to put a selection you like on cylinder, contact me at semperrecords at gmail.com. That's all one word, semperrecords at gmail.com. Thank you.